We have ignition and full thrust on the RL-10. One hour, 24 minutes, 17 seconds into flight. Approaching and we have second Miko. stage engine cutting off. That looks good. We've gone to 4S settling. And confirmation of main engine cutoff 2. We now begin a 9 minute coast Center phase before down. spacecraft separation. Center has begun to reorient to the spacecraft separation attitude. And we have indication of spacecraft set. At confirmation of spacecraft separation behind us in the room, uh, a lot of excited people. Now I have a short coast of approximately 34 seconds before we You're separate. You're looking at NASA Launch Manager Marco Tim a. Dunn. Standing by for parachute deploy. Radio science reports sudden change in Doppler. Ground stations are observing signals consistent with parachute deploy. Marco Alpha, Marco Bravo, maintain lock status. Telemetry shows parachute deployment. Radar powered on. Heat shield separation commanded. This is really good news so far. Uh, I'm on pins and needles. We have radar activation where the radar is beginning to search for the ground. Once the radar locks on the ground and inside is about one kilometer above the surface, the lander will separate from the back shell and begin terminal descent using its 12 descent engines. Altitude convergence, the radar has locked on the ground. Yes. <laughs> Standing by for lander separation. Carrier interruption on Marco Alpha and Marco Bravo. Lander separation commanded. Yes. Altitude 600 meters. Gravity turn, altitude 400 meters. We're getting there. 300 meters. 200 meters, 80 meters, 60 meters, 50 meters, constant velocity, 37 meters, 30 meters, 20 meters, 17 meters, standing by for touchdown. Touchdown confirmed. Oh, it doesn't, Rob. <laughs>